this is the perfect time of the year where we're supposed to get irrationally excited about prospects. The poster boy for that mindset this year is the point guard from Mega, Nikola Topic. Topic has taken the draft world by storm with his stellar play to start this season. Across the five games that Mega has played so far, Topic has scored over 20 points in four of them while recording at least four assists in all five. We have plenty of time to break down the defensive lapses and the concerns over the turnovers and the nuances of his outside shooting, but that's boring right now. For now, let's instead focus on why Topic is one of the most dynamic and exciting on-ball creators in the world. I'm Tyler Metcalf, and welcome to No Ceilings Film School. Let's dive in. Here we have a really fun example of Topic's understanding of angles, patience, ability to exploit mismatches, um, and really explosive first step. So as the clock's winding down at the end of the first half, Mega's just running an extended horn set, and Topic is just going to be patient and take whatever the defense gives him. So as the screens come, his, his defender immediately switches, which gives Topic a very advantageous matchup on the opposing big man. Topic is going to be really patient, size up his defender, and then strike. Really important thing to notice here is how direct of an angle Topic is taking to the rim. He is going straight into the lane, and he's really confident in his handle and his strength that he's not arcing that route to the rim. Instead, by going so direct, he's now able to elevate to the rim from the middle of the lane. The importance of this is that he now has three different finishing angles at the rim, where he can finish on the left side, the right side, or right through the middle. And if he wouldn't have taken that direct of a route, he would have only been able to finish on the left side, which makes him a much easier um, defensive assignment for the recovering defender. But now, Topic can do whatever he wants based on however the recovering shot blocker chooses to defend him. As Topic elevates, he initially goes up with his left hand to finish on the left side of the rim, which goads the recovering defender to chase the block on that side. Instead, Topic adjusts, finishes on the right hand for the score before the buzzer. This clip gives us a really good taste of Topic's high level understanding and comfort level of running the pick and roll while still emphasizing that really unique ability of his to understand and exploit angles and counter moves and timing and really hone in that, that tight handle of his inability to pressure the rim with extraordinary ease. So as the screen comes, Topic's defender is going to go go under, which that far out is the right decision because it keeps him rim side and doesn't put him in a susceptible position uh, where he's chasing Topic from behind like we saw in the previous clip. However, that also puts the defender in a situation where he's now going to have to abandon uh, the really sound defensive footwork fundamentals where and he's going to have to turn and chase to recover and guarantee that he stays rim side since Topic now has all of this space to attack into. So as Topic attacks, he doesn't necessarily have that direct line to the rim that we saw in the previous clip because the defender went so far under and is chasing him to cut off that drive. Topic continues the attack and as they meet at the elbow, Topic gets his defender turned where his hips are basically parallel to the baseline. From here, the defender is incredibly vulnerable to a step back or a spin move back middle, and Topic times the counter to perfection by planting that left foot and spinning back towards the middle really hard. As he spins, the defender is now completely out of the picture, and the rim is completely unoccupied since the primary rim protector was taken out of the lane in the initial pick and roll. Topic attacks, finishes with ease. Right. On this one, we get a fun little set play where Mega runs a little, a little bit of Spain action here. So as Topic gets the initial high screen, um, Topic's teammate is going to be setting a secondary screen for the screener, aka Sp a little Spain pick and roll. So as Topic comes off the screen, the defender actually does a pretty good job of getting over 
um, what is basically a slip screen here, and Topich's teammate is going to be setting this second screen for the, the initial screener. Topich continues to attack, and his defender does a pretty good job of staying tight to him, and the defense on the weak side does a good job of switching this initial screen of the help defender dropping into space so Topich doesn't have a clear line to the rim, and both of these defenders are staying tight on the initial roller to make sure that there isn't an easy lob attempt there while still staying in the passing lane to the weak side shooter. As Topic drives, it's the exact same thing that we saw in the previous clip where he gets his defender's hips turned so they are parallel to the baseline. He now has, can do whatever he wants to exploit his defender's momentum and yet again he plants that left foot and spins back middle. This time it's a little more crowded though but Topic does a great job of securing the ball through the traffic and extending that second step between the two defenders to split them, which puts him in clean air on the other side of the rim where he can finish with ease. Here Topic gives us a masterclass in how to run a pick and roll and how to expertly manipulate a defender's momentum with the use of a single screener. So as Topic receives the handoff, his defender's already half a step to a full step behind the play as he's just navigating the bodies and the traffic from the brush screen and the dribble handoff. Topic goes to initiate the high pick and roll, um, and he knows that his defender is lagging just a little bit behind the plate because of that previous traffic, so he knows that his momentum is going to bring his defender through this screen really aggressively. Instead of continuing to the right and just kind of going with the flow um, and going into traffic, Topic instead slams on the brakes and cuts back middle against his defender's momentum where he initially came from. As he does so, Topic's defender now has to go back over the second screen or else he would have been dragged down into the post in a real ugly mismatch, leaving Topic wide open for a mid-range jumper or pull-up three. Um, by going over, though, Topic has now created a 2v1 situation. Instead of just going left and allowing his defender to potentially get back rimside, Topic yet again cuts off his momentum by cutting back to the right where he just came from. As Topic cuts back, his defender has now been taken out of the play completely yet again. There is a help defender here, but Topic's understanding of how to get to point from point A to point B in the most effective manner is really on display here. He's going to, instead of going into or closer to the help defender, he's going to dribble really tightly off his teammate, who is now essentially screening for him for the third time by initiating this post up. Topic secures the ball through traffic. The third screen frees him up for a wide open layup. Topic's understanding of angles of defensive position manipulation um, really shines in his on-ball creation for scoring, but it also really is evident in his playmaking as well. Here, Topic is just going to get a little screen um, on the wing, and the defense is going to hard hedge and basically blitz him out of this. Topic's teammate does a really smart job of just slipping into all this open space, uh, since there isn't a drop defender. From here, Topic could try a pass over the top of his defender, but it would be a little risky with his defender gearing up to jump and intercept that pass or tip it or deflect it um, to potentially force a turnover. Instead, Topic is going to use a little fake and then steps around his defender. By doing this, he has now basically taken his defender out of the play and changed the release angle of his pass so that he can still deliver it on pace with speed to his teammate before the rest of the defenders, all four of them, can collapse on him. So he delivers the pass, perfect spot for his teammate to turn over his shoulder and he should finish at the rim, but he hesitates, turns it over. Again on this one, we see Topic just be really calm and composed under pressure and just use 
subtle little fakes and step throughs to create really advantageous passing angles while also taking defenders completely out of the play. So as he gets the handoff, he basically just pivots back, three screens, forces a switch into the side pick and roll. From here, the defense again blitzes him, but Topic knows that his initial def or his primary defender is trying to recover really aggressively and is going over the screen and is about to vacate all this space. So instead of go continuing into the traffic, Topic pivots back against the defender's momentum. He's now taken both of these defenders completely out of the play and created a wide open passing angle for himself to feed his teammate directly to the rim and it should end up in a score, but they get the foul. On this one, we see Topic continue to show his understanding of angles, but in a little different fashion with a bit of an unorthodox live dribble pass. So as Mega gets into their set, they run some weave action and a bunch of screens and a little brush screen um, that Topic dribbles off of. And the defender is playing at the level, which again, leaves this lane completely wide open for the roller to roll into. Topic sees this immediately and is desperate to get the ball to his teammate on the roll since this defender is caught in no man's land and neither help defender is pinching down to tag the roller or get in the way or protect, or protect the rim in any form or fashion. Instead of delivering a jump pass or slowing things down and pivoting back um, against his momentum, Topic uses a live dribble pass but almost in a hook shot formation where he's delivering it off live off the dribble but way over his head and leads his teammate directly to the rim for an easy dunk. This time we again see Topic show his creativity out of the pick and roll and his ability to really read and react to what the weak side defense is doing out of the pick and roll. So as he receives the ball in the middle of the floor, his teammate is just going to cut across to the opposite wing off this kind of pseudo screen uh, just to create a little player movement, uh, create a little defensive movement. And Topic is immediately going to go into this high pick and roll. From here, he's really far out, so defender isn't blitzing him by any means, but he's still kind of sitting at the level to deter Topic from pressuring the rim because we've seen how successful he's been at getting to the rim in previous clips. So defender stays at the level, but this time the weak side defenders do a much better job than in the previous clips of really aggressively tagging the roller and mucking things up in the middle of the floor. While this takes away a, a, a unique passing opportunity for Topic uh, to the roller, it also leaves his teammate completely wide open on the opposite wing for a spot of three. Topic sees this, he sees where the weak side defenders are, he knows that his teammate number three is wide open on the wing here, and in instead of slowing things down to deliver a more conventional pass that would allow the defense to rotate, Topic takes advantage of that very small window and delivers that live dribble hook pass across the court to his teammate on the opposite wing. The pass is in a perfect spot for, the, for his teammate to get directly into the shot. Open three, it just runs out. <laughs> 